We'd like to welcome you all again to the world of vibration, introduction to the nation, a revolutionary thought here, the sound evolved, expanding, changing. Most of the things that we saying haven't broken through your chattel, so y'all niggas still ego trip based in. If not, begin to taste the Kundalini wisdom, listen, dropping as a lyric for and vessel for the stages. Play this on your playlist. I like dope, but musically I'm transcending the physical. And don't blame me for the slang and the word. God writes these rhymes through me. I just listen to them. I'm just living, dude. Matrix driven rules haven't fooled me, cause I still think abstract. And stay metaphysical and challenge what is really real and keep creating with the force to bring rap back. Not that it's a way, but everybody got something to say, so let me speak the opposite of what's hot now and make that hot. So it'll get exploited in the corporations, only your back dudes who bite my style. And they can try and try again. I even been influenced by a lot of pioneers south to the east and west. But when a hot MC gets on a stage with a real MC, most of the time the situation gets hot. Style. We vibrate at higher frequencies. Welcome to our world. So we're at the hangar venue. I know, I know, the show's kind of last minute. We didn't really like have it worked out all properly and shit. But I'm the only one here, and John, because he's holding the camera. But I'm always here. <clears throat> it's like seven. You know, show started at, at seven, and it's seven on the dot. And nobody else in the band's here. None of the other bands are here. Nobody's here. Fucking stoked. That's all I got. We're still at the hangar venue. And there's still nobody from my band here. Or any of the other bands. But these guys are here. We're here. Hey! What's your name? Bridget. Bridget. It's gonna be on the internet. Alicia, bitch. Sorry. The bitch Alicia will be on the internet. <laughs> Brooke. Oh. All right, Brooke. Look, let me ask you, what is so cool about Twilight? It's amazing. He's hot. Is it? Is he, he really? Is hot, yes. I think he looks kind of like he has Down syndrome. <laughs> that is so <laughs> rude of you. He does kind of though, don't he? No. I think he's pretty. Who's he? You know who? Edward. Is, you know who is so much hotter than Edward? Hey. Besides Brad Pitt. Hey. Uh, the the bad guy one. He has his shirt off, and he's like a werewolf. Yeah. Yeah, he's hot. Yeah, he's hot. I do him. He's, Jasper's the hottest. He's so much hotter. Yeah, I'd let him leave me under the bed. But like, Sorry. I think you should just read the book. I have. Not weird. I've read all of it. I've read all of it. Okay, well, it's the next Harry Potter. Ew. And that's what's up. Harry Potter is dead. What do the three of you think? Oh, well, there you go. That's what I was about to ask. What do you think about Hard Cake Party? They're the fucking bomb, bitch. <laughs> bitch, we're the bomb. You like, like, like the bomb, tick, like tick, tick. Set me off like dynamite, strap tied around my waist. We are the ones in competition, but claim this ain't no race. You can't throw the ball that long. <laughs> Throw yourself. Throw yeah, 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 yeah,
country folk can't survive Because you can't stop us out and you can't make us ride When the mobile is raised on shotgun We say crazy, we say man if you wait I've got one and I bought three I just want to get wasted, but we can't <laughs> This is dry, I can't so, uh, nobody knows when Jack Daniel was born. Thinking, uh, but it was in September. Uh, I think our tour guide's wasted. I can't even understand her. Right, Jack Daniel's birth without that one day he kicked that safe right there. Treated for five years, and he said blood poison in his leg, but uh, gangrene in his hip when he died at the age of 61. 1911. <laughs> huh? Good. Oh, yeah, the bunk hole. Smell. I'm gonna smell the bunk smell in Jack's bunk hole. There's a world famous bunk hole. I'm gonna smell Jack's bunk hole. Yeah, we're gonna first. Jack's bunk hole. <laughs> Jack's bunk hole needs to be sniffed. I already sniffed it. It's great. How's Jack's bunk hole? <laughs> Jack's bunk hole is amazing. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get you. Perfect. Just what I thought it was gonna like. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Look at that. Except for about a week or two. I love my being drunk every day. Oh, constantly. It'll take us a while to finish that. Everybody, everybody come get this video. First of all, we just, <laughs> we just toured the Jack Daniels Distillery. So OG was sick. Uh, pretty sure we don't have anything on our minds at this point except for whiskey. Even though we're in a, in a dry county. Yeah, yeah, it's a dry you know, county. You know what's on my mind? 17 miles right here. And they're like yeah, a $35 Blake. bottle that you can only buy in Tennessee. And it's 43% uh, alcohol. Which is... A little bit more than the one sold. 86 proof versus yes. 80. Yes. Versus 80. So, this is awesome. 35 dollars all of that. That's why we don't give Blake extra money because he's spending on <laughs> This is not poor. It's not poor. You're right. I'm sorry to say that. Is that it? But, uh, yeah. I hope you, no, I was just gonna do it. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the footage that we could take of it. Uh, I don't think we were supposed to. Yeah, we did. He yelled at us once. She did, but she was really cool. Margie's the best tour guide here. If you ever come here, she's awesome. And I hope you enjoyed what we got. We had a lot of fun. I would recommend this to anyone. It's free. Free tour. Yeah. To the home where here we come. Any Hillbilly Willie. Chattanooga. Chattanooga and Hillbilly Willie. Yeah, check it out. It was awesome. Right off I-7, Hey, yo, check this out.